Are you okay? Oh, yeah. I think I left my lights on. Oh no, you need a jump? <laughs> really? You're a lifesaver. <laughs> yeah, of course. You're lucky I just got back. Uh, this is my car right here. Uh, do you have cables? I do, but I don't... I don't know if the red ones or the black ones are supposed to... You're totally fine. <laughs> Were you, uh, hiking the lower falls? Upper. That's some tough terrain up there. You ever make it to the top? Yeah, it's gorgeous, with, like, um, the statue things? The ki'i, yeah. The four ancient gods of the island. I like to meditate up there. That's really cool. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, the red ones go there, and the other end goes to mine. <laughs> I'm glad you know what you're doing. It's no big deal. Do you live on the island? I do. What about you? Yeah, I'm, I'm back for the summer. I'm getting my master's at ISU. ISU in... Iowa. You left Kalalani to study in Iowa? <laughs> yes. You're smarter than that. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Okay, so this end of the black just gets clipped on to like here, and then I start my engine. Great. So, what do you study? Uh, biosystems engineering. Yeah? It's basically just like uh, making sure communities have a clean, healthy environment to live in. My focus is in air quality, but there's a lot of different aspects to it. I've never met a biosystems engineer. You still haven't. I'm going to be a few more years till I have my master's. You're not going to get your master's. I'm not. This island is paradise. You don't want to leave that. I don't. The world outside is a dangerous place. It is a dangerous place. But I can keep you safe. Get in my car. We're gonna play a game. Are you listening? Yes. Hey, you're listening to Sunrise with Seth on 93.5 The Coast. I'm Seth Buduracci. It's good to be with you today. It's February 12th, 2018, and we're broadcasting live from the beautiful island of Kalalani. Taking a look at our afternoon forecast, it's going to be another 83 degrees area-wide, with a gentle 5 to 15 mile an hour breeze, making today another day in paradise. We got a little something up next for you, any of you folks out there who might be feeling a little lost in life right now. You don't know what your next step is going to be. Take a listen to this. What do you think is the weirdest version of you in a different universe? Like a parallel universe? Yeah. I think I'd be made of lava. Like actual fire? Yeah. Okay. What? No, that's a good one. (laughs) What would you be then? I was thinking like an accountant. That's the weirdest version of yourself? Yeah. I'd wear a suit, own a bodega. Own a bodega. Isn't that a type of car? It's a grocery store. I feel like I've seen a car say bodega. I don't think you have. Yeah. No, it's one of those little markets you see on the street in New York. The owner usually has a cat that works there, like a bodega cat. It's a type of car. Are you guys open yet? Is a bodega a type of car? 
I thought it was a grocery store. Thank you. Welcome to Guava Goddess. My name is Tavi. What can I get for you? Can we get two of the ake bowls? Yeah. Acai? Two of those would be great. Will that be all for you? I think so. $12, please. Credit? Just cash. Can I get you on those, Roscoe? Yeah, I got you. Is the blunder working? It should be. The generator's been weird today. You might have to switch it from 240 to 120. Hmm. Okay. It should just take a second. Are you visiting the island? Yeah. We're starting here and then we're island hopping for a few days. That sounds nice. How long have you lived here? It's okay if I unplug it, right? What? The generator? Oh, yeah. You should be good. Just don't touch any of the live wires. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> it's an article I found about Ludwig Wittgenstein. Only in the velvet texture. I can't breathe. breathe. Roscoe? Roscoe, hey! What? Are you okay? Uh... Are you good? What were you saying? About what? Ludwig von Lichtenstein or something? When? Just now. Did you turn the generator off before you tried to plug the blender in? Um... Roscoe. That was 240 volts. It felt like a lot. Yeah. Are you sure you didn't say something to me? It sounded just like you. I mean, I screamed. Are you going to the hospital? Why? Because you sound like a crazy person. How does your heart feel? Is it beating normally? Yeah, it's okay. Did you get burned? No, my body feels fine. Do you have any pain in your chest or anything? I think if I was going to die, I would have by now. What are you doing? Acai bowls? No, you're going to the hospital, Roscoe. You don't want me to finish the shift? You got lit up like Rockefeller Center and you want to finish the shift? (laughs) I'll see you tomorrow. Are you sure? Go to the hospital. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Thanks, T. I got you. Hey, uh, are the ake bowls ready yet, or...? Oh, yeah. One minute. Hi, can I help you? Yeah. Is this the entrance to the urgent care? Oh, yeah. We're just doing some construction on the other side of the building. Gotcha. How can I help you? Oh, I just touched a generator, and I wanted to make sure I'm not going to die or something. Oh, sure, yeah. What insurance do you have? What? Health insurance. I don't have health insurance. That's okay. We can do out-of-pocket. Great. Out-of-pocket would be good. I just need some sort of ID, like a driver's license. Do you have a driver's license? No. Do you have a passport or other identification card? I don't think so. I will need some way to log you into the system. Right. Are you an undocumented person? A what? Like, are you a non-citizen? I think I was... Actually, I don't know. I don't know who I am. And you should have an ID. (laughs) I have no idea who I am. Okay. There is something really strange going on right now. Uh, I don't really know what you're asking me right now. Sorry. Yeah, I'm... I need some sort of ID before I can see a doctor. Right, yeah. I unfortunately can't let you back without one. That makes sense. Thank you. Have a good day. Lenny. How we doing, Lenny? Your rent didn't come through this month, Roscoe. Uh, It might have gotten lost in the mail. You don't need to mail it. My desk is right here. You'll have it tomorrow? End of this week. Worst case. End of this week is fine. Okay. You still need something? You approved my application to live here, right? Uh Uh-huh. 
did I have a list of previous landlords or references or anything? This isn't the sort of place you need references for. If you have cash, we don't kick you out. If you have cash. So, you have no idea where I was before this place? Why would I know that? Okay. Thanks, Lenny. End of the week. End of the week! Guava goddess, this is Tavi. Hey, so weird question. Roscoe? Yeah. Why are you calling me right now? Do you remember when I started working with you? Did you go to the hospital? It was like a year ago, right? Yeah. Did I ever give you any references? Like work references or personal references or anything? I'm pretty sure you were just a walk-in. I never mentioned where I was born. Why would you say where you were born in a job interview? I don't know. I guess I assumed you were born here. I wasn't. Tavi, I don't think I exist. Like, metaphorically? No, not metaphorically or philosophically or existentially. Like, literally. Like, I don't think I exist. That doesn't make any sense. Are you still at Guava Goddess? Yeah. Until eight. Why? I think you just need to take it easy. If you stay home, you're going to be fine. But that's what's so strange about this whole thing. It it doesn't feel real, but also like the most real thing I've ever experienced. Okay, talk me through it again in like slow motion. All right, so. I was walking home after I got lit up Rockefeller style, and I was thinking... Uh Uh-huh. Can I get two pineapple paradise smoothies? Yeah, one second. I was thinking, wow, this would be a crazy story to tell someone, you know? And that's when I realized I don't know anyone I could tell this story to. I can't think of anyone that's close to me. I have no family. I have no friends. I need a mango from behind you. So I go home and ask my landlord if he has rent history for me, right? And he doesn't. Which I thought was a little weird, but maybe it's just a coincidence. So I go to the payphone outside of my motel, and I call the Secretary of the... Secretary of State. The Secretary of State on the island to see if they have any record of me. But they don't. So I'm thinking this is either a serious coincidence situation, or I have a problem. So I ask if they have any way of identifying me, but I don't have a driver's license. Or a social security number, or a P.O. box. They told me I don't exist. Well, that was mean of them. Why am I getting George bailey right now? I don't know. But they're right. I literally have no recollection of who I am. Okay, let's take a zen-level breath for a second. But the weirdest part is, I wasn't even thinking about my past before I got zapped. It's like something inside me just woke up. Huh. I mean, that's weird, right? No, yeah. That's weird. I got your two pineapple smoothies. Thank you. That's $12. Did you try Googling yourself? No. Why? Roscoe. What? You didn't even Google yourself before you came back here and started freaking out? In self-defense, they don't have internet at my apartment. Do you have Wi-Fi at your place? Yeah. You should have a phone record or an address or something. I don't remember having a phone. Okay, but you didn't just appear out of thin air. I don't know. Maybe I did. Maybe I'm a mysterious person. I don't think so. (sighs) All right, let's go. Okay. What's your full name again? Roscoe Talbot. Middle name? I don't remember. Roscoe Talbot. 
There's a Rasco Everett Talbot who died in Eastview, Harrison County, West Virginia. There's a plastic surgeon, but that's not you either. I'm seeing some California addresses. No pictures? No. Oh, here's a roller rink record with an image attached. What's a roller rink record? Roscoe Talbot, winner of a roller rink limbo competition in 2015. I don't think I roller skate. Oh, shit. What? Is that me? I mean, it looks exactly like you. Hold up. What is this? Happy Times Rollerama crowns Roscoe Talbot as this year's Limbo King of Kalalani Island. Happy Times Rollerama? I don't. Talbot won the Limbo Skate Challenge, breaking out moves to Maroon 5's Sugar as the crowd cheered him on. I don't know about this. <laughs> this was 2015. It looks like it was a pretty big deal. They gave you a crown. On Kalalani Island? Where even is that? I think it's just a few islands over. This is such a weird day. Okay, well, we're not going to panic, all right? You clearly just have some kind of amnesia or something. Amnesia? What exactly happened to you when you got lit up Rockefeller style? That clearly triggered something. I don't know. I thought I heard us talking about- You heard both of us talking. Yeah, kind of like a third-person perspective thing. Like a memory? I guess. Hmm. And that's when you realized you couldn't remember your life as the 2015 Limbo King of Happy Times Rollerama. <laughs> Did they have any contact info on there or anything? We can look. What's that second picture of? What the hell? I don't... I don't know... Who are you? Tavi. Why am I in this picture with you? I don't know. I swear, I met you at Guava Goddess. Are you stalking me? What? No. Well, I... I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Tavi, I don't remember anything. This is... Maybe we just both happened to be there together three years ago. At the same roller rink? Maybe. That neither of us can remember? I've never even been to Kalalani. Not that I... What's wrong? Not that I can... remember. I... I don't... Tavi? I don't... remember. What's going on? Do you... No. I'm... I mean, I had a family. I... I must have had a family. Are you saying... Oh, shit. I gotta sit down. It's like trying to remember a dream after you wake up. Yeah, but your whole life's the dream. You can't remember anything before a few years ago? No. Neither can I. Roscoe, what happened to us? I don't know. Hey, folks. How are we doing today? Uh, hey. We're here to report two missing people. Do we do that here? Oh, sure. Yeah. Are they people you know? No, it's us. We're the missing people. Oh, sure. Oh, you're serious? Yeah. Or I guess we're found people now. Huh. Okay. Uh, let me get us a room. Hey, Frank. Do we have a conference room available? I think we're using them for extra bunt cake at the moment. Can we get one of those freed up? It would be a bit of a process. Frank? Oh, we got people here? Yep. Hi, people. Can you also get us two of those person found forms? Like a cat found form? Yes, but for a person. <laughs> nice. I'm on it. Sorry, Frank is an idiot. We'll take you back this way. Let's see... Person found report. Don't know if I've ever filled one of these out. Your names? Roscoe Talbot. Tavi Jones. Okay, that's for... Okay, we can just skip to... 
Uh, when did you find yourself? This morning. We were thinking it might be some kind of amnesia or something. Do you remember any relatives, uh, parents, siblings? We don't remember anything before the last three years or so. That's strange. You have a history of drugs or mental illness. It can increase the chance of memory loss. At least that's what the form says here. I mean, I don't crave any drugs. Okay. Do you know where you were born? Or where you grew up? We know we spent some time on Kalalani Island in 2015. We brought a picture. Huh. Apparently we were both at a roller rink. Right. Well, I'll gather up what you said here and I'll make official people found requests and posters. Then I'll send that out to some major branches and we'll see if anyone wants to see you again. The whole thing usually takes six to eight months. To find people or to process the paperwork? The paperwork, yeah. It can be a bit of a process, but we want to make sure we dot all the I's and T's. Is there anything else I can do for you folks today? Bun cake? I think we're okay. Six to eight months? How long do they expect us to be in limbo? Six to eight months, I guess. <sighs> For what it's worth, I'd rather know the truth. Even if we have to figure it out ourselves. Right. I can't even remember why I came here. Me neither. What's the first thing you can remember? Like, it's your earliest memory? I remember... sitting on a beach. <laughs> Like, someone had just left me there, alone. I remember the absence of... Of what? I don't know. The details are all just scrambled. Yeah. Tavi, do we... Do we both not exist? I mean, we're here. Yeah. But I feel, I feel so homeless inside myself. Like part of me is just gone. Like a phantom limb, you know? Yeah. If we're here, we came from somewhere, right? We're not nothing. Why does it feel like we are? What happened to your car? Oh, I don't know. It's not turning on. Did you leave the lights on? I might have, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> happens to me all the time. I have cables. Oh my gosh, really? You're a lifesaver. I got you. How are the waves today? What's that? The surf. Oh, <laughs> yeah, good. It's one of my favorite beaches. The sunset is beautiful out there if you get a chance to see it. You live on the island? <laughs> Let's put the nuts. I know who you are. Listen to me. You're a snake. Put the knife down. I know what you're feeling. I can see it in you. Trust me, I know this feeling. You feel hollow. Inside yourself, I know. But I can take that all away. That's why I'm here. Stop moving. The worst thing someone can feel is nothing. But you are never going to be hollow. Ever. Again. Welcome to paradise. Thank you for listening to Silver Tongues. The show was written by Josie Eli Herman and Michael Allen Herman, directed by Josie Eli Herman, 
and produced by Acorn Arts and Entertainment. Our associate producer is Christopher Nelson. Silver Tongues features original scoring by Jesse Haugen. This episode, The Limbo King, stars Emily Betts as Sable, Michael Allen Herman as Kai, Will Myers as Seth Buderacci, Dan Johnson as Roscoe Talbot, Sabrina Dahlgren as Tavi Jones, Hannah Pauling as Guavagata's Customer 1, James Herman as Guavagata's Customer 2, Brittany Connors as the hospital staff, Christopher L. Nelson as Lenny, Paul Lepchinski as Officer Rick, Scotty Schluter as Frank, and Josie Eli Herman as the Beach Girl. Special thanks to this show's donors, Alex Haddad, Elise Paquin, Amanda Buckalter, Ann Davis Rowe, Anthony Sigmund Lowry, Mark and Chris Herman, Jason Such, Julia Garlot, Lauren London, Rachel Rubishki, and Rebecca DiPuccio. We'd also like to thank our Patreon members, Jennifer Fainueth, Rebecca DiPuccio, Jason Such, Jeremy Soden, Riza, Regina Hathaway, Anthony S., General Two Polar Cat, Captain EO, Diane, Jim Hagel, Ronnie, Julia Garlot, Tim Araneta, Jada, and Iris Spine. Silver Tongues is an independently produced audio drama, and we rely entirely on donations from people like you to keep us going. If you have the means and would like to help, please consider joining our Patreon. We have a series of donation rewards and bonus content starting as low as $1 a month. Or you can help us keep the lights on with a one-time donation on our website at www.acornartsandentertainment.com slash silvertongues. Another great way to support the show is by leaving a five-star review wherever you listen to podcasts. A single review goes a long way to help us find new listeners. For more details, please visit our social media at Silver Tongues Podcast. We'll be back next week to continue Silver Tongues. Thanks for listening. Love you guys. Bye.